Hi, I'm Brad. Today I've got a video update on the current model. Well, here we are in 2018. Subaru Forester XT Turbo Diesel. Now, you may remember I ran a Turbo Diesel MY10 in the, in the uh, Australian Rally Championship several years ago. I had a lot of success. It was a fantastic, fun car to drive. Yes, it's a diesel. Yes, it's not a typical rally car, but it was still an awesome amount of fun. And we learned a lot with it. Since then, Subaru has um, gradually um, improved their technology with the way these diesel engines run. And the really good thing is the race ROM technology with the custom tuning of the factory ECU has also progressed with it. And this particular car here, I'm pleased to say, um, it sounds a bit wild, but it's actually the first one in the world of its version that has been tuned on the dyno. And we've done some really uh, heavy updates with Ecutech in the UK over the last couple of weeks to bring this new model ECU online so we can um, start supporting this model for all of our friends overseas as well as all of our clients here in Australia and of course our customers here in New South Wales because of course you know we do a lot of technical support for all of our agents around Australia and everybody in the world supports and uses the common technology that is a platform that everybody uses and then we individually custom tune it ourselves. So this particular model you might be looking to say well what are we getting with the turbo diesel. One of the big advantages is they are a fantastic engine if they're tuned and looked after correctly and you can get a modest increase in power and performance and torque because it is all about the torque. They're a low air revving engine with high torque and of course everybody wants that just a little bit extra performance but also with these tuning tools the technology has the ability for us to do control over uh, the amount of times the DPF regens the forced regen ability of what we can activate through the factory ECU and the tuning and the diagnostic skills uh, tools that this software provides. And this ECU and this latest model update is um, quite an advanced step up for Subaru, which is why it's taken us a little while to include this model in the range. But um, if you're looking for some, some modest improvements in power and performance, this is certainly an opportunity you can take advantage of. One thing I will tell you, yes, we do have the ability to remove DPFs, but no, we won't do it because we don't believe it's ethically the right thing to do for a road car. If you've got a race car like I had, yes, legally allowed to do it. But if you do look after your turbo diesel Subaru correctly, you won't have any problems with the DPF. And it is important that you use a car in the right environment that the car was designed for. So check out our other videos where we're talking about uh, diesel soot. Do a search on our YouTube channel for MRT soot and you'll find a whole range of other videos where we talk about what you should and shouldn't do. But in the meantime, if you're looking to, for some, some performance improvements with a healthy uh, dose of torque, Subaru Turbo Diesel Update. This is the MY13 to current model. That's the new change in the ECU and as well as the technology with the software upgrade uh, Subaru has released and we can now tune it with that race run technology. So shoot us an email, follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram. And of course, make sure you subscribe to our channel here and share it. We'd love to hear from you and see your comments. But for now, my name is Brett Middleton here in Sydney. Thanks for watching.